Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Tilray. Uh, I've talked about them uh, numerous times here on the channel. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, information out about them. And just time for an update here. So this is uh, Tilray, ticker T-L-R-Y. And as you can see, I have uh, 16 shares here and um, my uh, cost basis is zero. Uh, that's in regards to the uh, merger. Uh, they merged with Afria a while back, and uh, so that's why there's a cost base of zero, and we'll go over that here in a moment. Uh, but here's what uh, Tilray's done over the uh, last year. Uh, Could have got in at uh, 485, had this nice spike on uh, February 10th, just like a lot of the uh, other uh, MJ stocks. And since then, it's uh, came down, so hit a high there of 63.91 and just been slowly coming down almost trading kind of sideways at times and here is a look at the last three months so just been kind of up and down down over 10 percent in the last uh, month down over 14.83 uh, percent and the last week of down over four percent and here's what it uh, did today so actually had a, a positive day at uh, 3.65 percent today so can't beat that um, today uh, if you don't know what this one is it's a um, consumer package uh, goods company with operations in Canada it's a uh, MJ stock it's uh, one of the uh, most popular ones and so if you don't have this one uh, you might uh, consider taking a look at it I stayed away from it for quite a while uh, just because it was so volatile and then I uh, got into it uh, with the uh, merger uh, so now it's just uh, Tilray so um, but this has been around since 2018 uh, 28 million average shares uh, 9.17 billion market cap and here's a look at the uh, ratings 68% uh, hold and here's a look at the earnings And so if you have a uh, Tilray, go ahead and list that in the uh, comments, along with your cost basis, any other information you uh, have in regards to uh, Tilray. Um, but i got a couple articles here. Um, so it's expected to break even in the near future, and this is dated on the uh, 3rd, so uh, a little bit older information. Uh, business appears the uh, company may be in the cusp of cusp of considerable accomplishment uh, Tilray engages in their research cultivation production and distribution of uh, medical MJ and cannabinoids on uh, 53121 uh, 6.6 .6 billion dollar market cap company posted a loss of 367 million for its most recent financial year the uh, most pressing uh, concern for investors is Tilray's path to profitability uh, when will it break even? We've uh, put together a brief outline of industry analysis uh, expectations for the company. It's year of break even and its implied growth rate. According to 13 industry an analysts uh, covering Tilray, the uh, consensus is that uh, break even is near. The, they expect the uh, company to post a financial loss in 2022. Uh, before turning a profit of 5.5 million in 2023, therefore the company is expected to break even roughly two years from today. In order to meet this uh, break-even date, uh, we calculated the rate at which the uh, company must grow year on year, and it turns out the annual growth rate of 119% is expected, uh, which is rather optimistic. Uh, if this rate turns out to be too aggressive, the uh, company may uh, become profitable much uh, later than analysts predict. Uh, so a lot of these uh, companies are not profitable. Um, there's a couple of them that I have uh, covered. Uh, some uh, penny stocks over the counter. Um, I believe um, Cresco Labs, True Leaf, and... Uh, I can't say the name of the other one. I've uh, covered them just in the uh, last two weeks. Uh, those have all been uh, profit profitable. Um, but you can find all of those in uh, my library. And I'll go ahead and link those in the uh, description. Uh, High Tide is another one that I've uh, covered here lately um, that I believe is profitable. And 
if I can find the other ones that are profitable. So Cure Leaf is one that I remember. Cure Leaf, Cresco Lab, and True Leaf, I believe, are the uh, ones that trade over the counter that are uh, profitable. So you can, like I said, you can find those in uh, the description. I'll go ahead and link those all together. And um, Cure Leaf is the other one, I believe. So, uh, but I've covered them all here uh, recently. Um, uh, CGC, uh, Aurora. I've covered a ball high, uh, high tide a couple times, so and Tilray is one of the other favorites. Um, but moving on here, uh, Tilray stock uh, looks positioned for further rally after a strong quarter, and this is just dated on the uh, fourth, so yesterday. Uh, Tilray stock has relatively uh, subdued in the uh, last six months. During the period, the uh, stock has declined 31%. However, uh, Tilray stock had touched a near-term low of 12.7 on July 27th uh, with strong quarterly results. The stock has uh, trended higher to current levels of $16.30. Uh, it seems li very like the uh, Tilray stock has uh, bottomed out with the uh, completion of the merger with Afria. The uh, company is positioned for healthy growth. Uh, this column will discuss the uh, positive catalysts uh, that are likely to ensure that the stock remains in an uptrend. And so feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest of the information here. It kind of goes over some of their uh, financials. Uh, first and foremost, the company reported adjusted EBITDA of $40.8 million for 2021. Uh, this represented a year-on-year -year growth of 598%, uh, with merger synergies and healthy top-line uh, growth. It's like the, likely the EBITDA margin will expand in the coming quarters. Can Tilray really more than uh, quadruple its annual revenue by 2024? Uh, so that's three years off. Um, so. Uh, they're all growing, um, so that would be a that would be awesome if they did it. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, when uh, Canadian MJ Companies Tilray and Afri announced their merger in 2020, uh, they estimated their uh, pro forma revenue to be 685 million dollars, uh, referring to the combined entity of the largest global MJ company. However, the odds of it being the largest in terms of revenue over the uh, coming year are slim. Many U.S. based MJ business could uh, very well end up ahead, but the company's uh, management still has high hopes. On Tilray's uh, recent earnings call, they said that their goal in for 2024 was to hit four billion in revenue. As that sounds like a pie in the sky uh, target, but the company is likely to fall short of, or should investors generally expect that level of growth from the business. Uh, here's what uh, Tilray is counting on for the fiscal year that ended on May 31. Uh, Tilray reported a net revenue of 513 million up 27 percent year over year. Uh, that did include a full year revenue uh, from both MJ businesses as a free and Tilray merger only closed on uh, May 3rd. However, even combined the two companies likely aren't even at the one billion dollar mark yet so therefore the top line uh, would have to quadruple from where it is today to hit uh, four billion dollars uh, so it still would need a uh, ton of growth so when Afria reported its uh, previous results uh, for the quarter ending on February 28th its uh, net revenue of 154 million Canadian dollars was down 4.3 percent from the previous period and feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest there for yourself. And uh, moving on over here to uh, Yahoo Finance. Uh, Tilray launches new medical MJ edibles in Canada. And this is, as you can see, just dated here today. <clears throat> so uh, Tilray, global pioneer in uh, medical MJ research, cultivation, and production, today announced the launch of medical MJ edibles and THC and CBD rich uh, varieties of chocolates and soft chew gummies. 
The new uh, Tilray brand uh, medical MJ edibles are now available for patients across Canada and add to the uh, brand's comprehensive offering of MJ medicines, including whole flower oils, vapes, and pre-rolls uh, developed with uh, patient health and well-being in mind. Whether it's pain management, anxiety treatment, or everything in between, patients are asking for more choices in the medical MJ category, and Tilray remains committed to the innovations that improve the patient well-being. As MJ regulations evolve around the world, uh, we look forward to offering our global patient community the highest quality medicines that depend on for health, wellness, and well-being. So two formulations of 16 gram medical MJ infused chocolate bars, uh, which sounds uh, really good, and THC uh, milk chocolate containing 10 milligrams of THC, 1 milligram of uh, CBD per package, and CBD uh, dark chocolate contains 1 milligram of THC and 20 milligram of CBD per package, as well as two formulations of medical MJ soft chews available in watermelon containing 10 milligrams of THC and pineapple mango. There we go, pineapple mango. All these sound good. Uh, watermelon sounds good, um, but here's uh, my favorite, um, pineapple mango. So you can leave uh, your uh, favorite in the uh, comments, and uh, that would be interesting to know. Uh, containing 10 milligrams of THC and 10 milligram of CBD. Uh, so we'll see what this uh, does to the uh, stock price, and uh, since they're launching new uh, edibles in Canada. Tilray launches medical MJ chocolates and soft chews, uh, boosting product portfolio in Canada. And just kind of some of the uh, same information. So there's your uh, edible. Uh, two formulations of 16 gram medical chocolate bars and two formulations of uh, MJ soft chews. So see what this does to the uh, stock price uh, it's always good to have uh, new products out I'm just gonna skim through this since it's some of the uh, same information you can uh, pause the uh, article and go over that for yourself um, but it kind of goes over the watermelon the pineapple mango and all the other information so I'm just gonna slowly scroll through here and I've talked about this uh, before the latest production innovation comes on the heels of the expansion of the company's uh, sweet water Brewing Company uh, into uh, Michigan. I've talked about that on uh, previous videos, so you can find that in the uh, description. And Tilray shares uh, were trading 2.04% lower at 13.96 per share at the time of the writing on Thursday morning. Over here to Reddit. Updates to Tilray, new enforcement measures and prizes. Launches new medical edibles. We already covered that. Tilray expansion favorites and I just did a video on uh, IIPR I'll be doing another one because they just uh, had earnings so I'll be doing update on that one as well over here to uh, tip ranks currently at 14.47 low of 4.41 and a high of 67 dollars 17 million uh, shares being traded uh, sure would like to see green on Friday even just a little So they beat. So oh, that's something else. Um, not much other information in there. Over here to uh, tip ranks. Currently at 14.47 with a uh, moderate buy. Uh, 11 ratings, 5 showing a buy, 6 at a hold. At the target of $19.41 with a 34% upside, high of 27, low of 13.56. So if you have any of Tilray, and list that in the comments along with your cost basis any other information you might have uh, that we could share and um, any other favorite MJ plays out there if you want to uh, see a video on those I'd be happy to do that as well and again if you haven't smashed the like button yet go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop again this is Jay Money Falling Ford Financial happy trading happy investing stay green cheers